two, one. Oh, talk about challenges. That was one mission. Right, let's take it from the top. This is the battlefield situation as seen by a helicopter. The helicopter's BMS. Special Ops Group Delta 3 were pinned down here. Extraction point is here. As you can see, it's pretty built up. This was our route up here. And we have two no-fly zones here and here. Control gave us Herbie's ground recon with Coral and an F-16. We ran into enemy activity right from the get-go. It was a close call. So, the only spot they could find us was this dusty field that was surrounded by buildings and wires. It could have been very tricky. Just as well you had Elbert Systems dust off low visibility landing system to guide you in, eh? Right, let's take it from the top. Walk one to control, two minutes to extraction point, over. Look at that. Now let's go back up and come in again, start half a mile out. Well, as we entered the final approach, I followed my co-pilot's line of sight to spot the landing zone. The landing zone was active on Helicon? Yes sir, here. Helicon passed the landing zone data to my ambies hut and Sword. So Sword was scanning the landing area? Right up until the moment where we hit the brownout, sir. Here, for example, we're receiving an update on a potential obstacle. Yeah, looks like a cable. Yes sir, looks like a combo wire, about three millimeters in diameter. Sword was analyzing the landing zone for obstacles. Slopes, buildings, radio towers. Everything, basically committing the whole area to memory. Impressive. And here comes the brownout. Uh -huh. Look at this. Here we have a complete 3D picture of the landing zone. Complete with obstacles. Slope here, cables here. And on the Anvis Hut? That's correct. At this point, I decelerated and hovered. Based on the Anvis Hut symbology. I had no choice, sir. The windows were totally obscured by the brownout. Go on. That's it. After making sure I had 